Hey, you are most welcome here. So in this video, I'm going to take you through how you can generate a payment registration number or what we call a PRN. So you need a PRN in case you are doing any related payments to uh, to to URA. So anything that's tax related and you're making a payment to basically URA you need to have a payment registration number so in this video i'm going to, to show you how you can do this so you simply go to ura.go.ug and uh, before i continue if you're new here please subscribe uh, leave a like button please hit the subscribe button and i want to see you actually come to become part of me or become part of what i do and if you really love uh, this video please go ahead and leave uh, a comment in the comment section so uh, what you need to do is when you go to the URA web portal you will automatically uh, come to this page as the default home page and you don't need to sign in or creating an account you just have to come to straight to e-services then uh, under e-services you come to the payment section so as you can see under the payment section you have the payment registration print PRA and sleep payment regeneration uh, income tax pay visa and uh, on tax uh, uh, refund uh, basically here is you're trying to get refund from URA and uh, what you're interested in more is actually this so if you already have generated the payment registration you shall see that you can come here and put in and print the pay, uh, payment registration slip or you can if it has expired you could come here and regenerate it yeah so to get started click on payment registration because that's what you need then uh, select payment uh, payment by default is under DT and uh, you click on uh, NTR because if you leave it here it will be uh, requiring you to put in TIN and uh, I know majority of us we don't have TIN uh, so you could leave this uh, on here you could leave it uh, if you're not registered with um, if not registered with a team like you don't have a team number so this is actually uh, free now so you can now come here and put your name i'm going to do mine as rolling tester then um, for the purposes of this video so street address i could do uh, i could say it on jumani uh, let me see let me select some other thing uh, let me select Kampala. Uh, I could set it in Kampala. It's not coming. Uh, let me see if I can select this set Kampala Central Division. Uh, Kampala Central Division. Uh, let's say I'm in um, Naka 02. Village Chadondo. Uh, this is the data basically I could just put here two 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 seven uh, but am I paying for uh, I could be paying for something uh, let's say I'm paying for a driving license for five years so I'm paying for a new driving license five years so if you could click it automatically give you the amount to pay uh, type of ID that they need they need the identification details so I could click national ID just picking I uh, put in any random number here then um, by default is in other payment options and this is what I would prefer if for example you're going to pay using mobile money or you're going to use a uh, point of sale uh, pay way uh, if you're going to use PayBlue, if you're going to use uh, cash deposit something like that that's why i would prefer uh, to see that you leave this under default then you come here and 
enter these details make sure to enter the correct details C E V E 56 I guess it's this if this is not a capital V yeah and uh, yeah so let me click here if everything is right we should be good to go Sometime. Oh, yay! Our payment registration is here, so we could download it. Uh, let me download it from here. I'm going to call it uh, you are a sleep. This case contains uh, a PRN. Uh, payment registration number so it's a slip as you can see this is the information that we entered and this is the what I'm interested most this is what you need mostly to be able to do a payment and it's, uh, it automatically captures the date for you and every other information and these are the details of your payment and uh, this is a reference number attached to this registration and another thing to note is this search code for example if you want to go back to the URL portal for instance in case we want to print this um, this search code could is gonna be helpful uh, for example if you want to print more of these or if you forgot you know we didn't actually print it out or save uh, a copy you could come back to e-services and under services to print RN, print PR and sleep, or you could just actually enter them here. So your reference number is actually yeah, your reference number it is putting in this number. Let's try it out. Putting in this number here and um, put reference number then put the search code. Uh, all this is not true uh, because this is just uh, something I'm doing here for the for educational purposes. I could click on print form, and they're saying yeah, they're saying invalid. Uh, sometimes it can break, so uh, what you need to do is to be able to maybe uh, print submitted form. Actually, it's here. What you need is here. But I uh, could just click on print. If you click on print, it will take you to print registration number, then the search code. For example, if you put in here our search code, and uh, uh, let's say this is our search code, then the registration number is this PRN. then you submit so if it is there it automatically uh, download it and yeah if you opened it it should be the same thing uh, like before uh, it should be the same prn that we have here yeah that's it basically for uh, for this video it's basically taking you through how you can actually uh, generate uh, your own PRN. Maybe, for example, if it has expired, and uh, I think expiration date is it 10 days, uh, something like that. Oh, but in case your PRN has expired, or that since you could just come to regeneration, you put in the expired PRN and assessment number and application type that you're trying to do. And remember the application type was um, was uh, other NTR we could choose other NTR yeah something like that that's it for this video stay blessed see you in the next video